I was cycling with a group of about 10 guys. I was hit by a car doing about 60 miles an hour or so. And uh, yeah, the guy pretty much rear-ended me and um, he took off, was hit and run. And um, he, he came back a few hours later and, and turned himself in to the, to the cops. But um, I was, you know, I had broken away from the pack a little bit. So I was about a mile away from uh, the, the trailing rider, so I sort of just, you know, laid there for a few minutes until somebody showed up and, um, you know, helped me out. Cycle with a partner. Always yeah. have your phone. Always, always have a, a buddy and always have a big buddy who can pick you up, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a bigger buddy than you. That's right. What's the hardest thing about being in the chair right now? And you're really tall, too. The hardest, I mean, I would I would think it's all of the little inconveniences like added up on top of mm -hmm. each other. I've heard a lot about the little things become the big things. Yeah. Because you expect them to be little. And you know someone else is going to do this really quickly. Yeah, exactly. It's irritating. You know, it's, it's totally irritating. You know, I used to love like waking up on a freezing cold morning and hop in the shower and just like stand there and let the hot water hit you. You know, it's just like awesome, you know. and. Now it's like taking a shower is almost like a chore. Go to wash my hair and you close your eyes and all of a sudden, if, if you don't feel from a year down, your, your balance is totally off, you know? And uh, you're like, if I don't have my elbow up against the wall, I don't know that I'm not falling over. So, you know, um, but just, you know, little things like that. Um, when it rains, I hate when it rains. You know, it takes me, you know, not forever, but it takes me a little while. If it's raining pretty good, um, you know, I'm going to be soaked by the time I, you know, need to get wherever I'm going, so. Uh, people in my life motivate me, you know, um, and the the more people I meet in chairs, actually, or the, the more I'm motivated, because it's like, you know, I'll see all these people doing all this stuff, and I'm like, well, they're doing stuff, like, I don't really have an excuse, you know, I can't just sit around, so, um, you know, it's time to get on with life and get going. So um, that that keeps me motivated. You know, um, being being a part of the adaptive community. You know, um, and just uh, you know, my wife. You know, wanting to try to lead as much as a, a normal life as we can. You know, um, you know that keeps me motivated. And uh, before my accident, I was you know training triathlete so I was pretty you know motivated individual to begin with you know um, I would, at least I would think so um, you know I'd train you know five six hours a day um, wow. and uh, you know it takes some sort of psychotic person to you know want to wake up at four in the morning and go for a swim and then go to work and then come home and go for a run or a bike ride so I don't know um, I just, you know, keep keep the same attitude, the same mindset, but now I'm in a chair, so things are different, different uh, things to be motivated for, I guess. How do you want people to approach you? Um, I think, you know, people should approach either me or, or anybody as they approach any, any person. Um, I think the, the biggest annoyance is when people make assumptions, you know. I didn't want to talk to somebody who was in a chair before I was, but I just wouldn't know what to say, you know. I was just mm -hmm. kind of awkward like that because, you know, I didn't really have a lot of friends in chairs, so, I, you know, I wouldn't know what to say. I wouldn't, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't want to offend them, so I'd rather just keep my mouth shut. So, but uh, I think anybody would just want uh, to be treated like a person, you know. Ask questions rather than assume, you know. What would you like to see differently in the world? Um, I don't know, I, you know, if, if more people were less afraid of people with disabilities, I guess.